What's up guys, John here from Titan, and today I wanted to discuss a commonly asked question or an argument, however you want to put it, and that is, why are injectable vitamin amino acids more superior or better than oral vitamin amino acids? So let's break this down because I think you're going to side with me after this video if you listen to what I have to say. So the first two main things, transportation rate and absorbency. With an injectable, you're getting way faster transportation rate. It's going to a muscle or subcutaneously and get absorbed and then going to the bloodstream to work faster and better for you, even bypassing the liver. With an oral version, right, you have to take it into the mouth, it's getting broken down through the gastro tract. It's a lot longer as far as the transportation rate and then the absorbency afterwards because it's getting broken down in your stomach and it's getting broke down to the liver, so you're not getting as much, and then it's taking longer to get in to really work for you. So those two alone make injectable a lot more superior. Then the other argument, well, what if I take three, four, five times as much, right? Well, is that really optimal for daily usage? Probably not, okay? I've been there, I know, I've taken these things, I've drank in the jugs all day long, I've taken the pills all day long, and I'm telling you, it's a lot worse doing stuff like that. One, you get bloating, your stomach's in knots, right? You probably get sick of the flavor, right? Also, all these things are getting filtered through your liver, so you're actually putting more strain on the liver than you really should. And you don't want to do that. Why do that when you don't need to? When you can do the injectable, you're done within one or two minutes. And you're not having to take something around with you all day long in your hand, drinking or swallowing all day. That's just not optimal. So if you guys are looking for a way better experience and better results by using amino acids and vitamins, then I would strongly recommend or say injectable is definitely the way to go. Especially with this, you're talking about a little baby insulin needle that you would inject with. It's a lot smaller than any testosterone needle or those big old needles that you think are harpoons. Trust me, it's virtually painless and you're gonna get a lot better result and probably feel better right off the bat with the injectable version than the oral version. You know what you're getting, it's prescribed to you by a tight medical center provider and you guys are getting a personalized regimen with all the personal care that we can provide for you and support. So guys, if you're ready to get on that injectable vitamin amino acid train, call our Texas today, 727-3820. And if you wanna see some of the custom signature blends that Titan offers and some of the other ones, go to our website, titanmedicalcenter.com. We have everything listed there. And if you don't wanna read and you wanna watch the videos, go over to YouTube, type in Titan Medical Center, and you'll get to see all the great videos on our therapies and even how to use most of them. So guys, I hope this has been helpful. I hope you guys side with me on the injectable version versus the oral version. I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later. What's up guys, here in Orlando, Florida on this beautiful day. And guess what? It's Festival of Speed at the Ritz-Carlton here in Orlando. Tight Medical Center, one of the media sponsors and main sponsors of this upscaled, awesome event that's coming out here. All these beautiful cars, all these beautiful people, and of course this beautiful day. You just cannot go wrong coming out here and seeing us. Not to mention it's Halloween, so happy Halloween out there to everybody. But I'm excited to be here to see these all these amazing cars, they're so beautiful. All the colors, all the people, and I mean, not to mention, it really is a motivation to come out here and see all these really beautiful cars. So many cars in such a small spot, and it's not that small, but it looks small with all these beautiful cars taking it up. Everybody's out here coming up to the booth. Some people know what Titan Medical Center can do for them, and they always ask me, John, what can Titan do for me? I say, you see all these beautiful exotic cars out here? 
That's how you can look and you can perform every day. So who doesn't want that, right? So come with us. We're gonna walk around the Festival of Speed, see all these other beautiful cars out here that we haven't got to see because there's so many out here. And we're gonna spread the good word of Titan for everybody to make sure everybody can yeah. feel better, look better, and perform better. So come on and stay tuned. Vroom, vroom. So that's a wrap, finishing this beautiful Halloween Sunday here in Orlando at the Festival of Speed, Ritz-Carlton. My beautiful family out here with all these beautiful rides. And of course, Titan came, we saw, and we conquered this awesome event. Absolutely. Can't wait till the next one. I love you guys. Did you guys have a good time today? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Did you like the cars you saw? Yeah. Pretty cool cars out here, guys. Did Pretty you have a favorite? Cool. No, no favorite? He loves my Lambo, <laughs> that's why, yeah, that's right. <laughs> How about you, Boo? Do you see any favorite cars out um, here? Listen, we're, we've been talking about it. It's on my bucket list. And, you know, my bucket list. Da, 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 da. So the Bentley Coupe, it's, co it's coming. It's coming. Of course, the Lambo SVJ Aventor. You'll see me in that very soon, hopefully. The Bentley Coupe. Come on. Love you guys. Thank you guys for joining us at Festival of Speed Orlando. Can't wait for the next one. See you then next see ya. year. <laughs>Hey guys, John here from Titan. I'm Sharice. And we're the owners of Titan Medical Center and today we want to talk to you about how easy it is to become a patient and get Titan Medical Center therapies. It's real simple and a real easy process. Couldn't make it any easier. Now do you guys remember the old school way of medicine where you call up your doctor's office, hey I need to come in for this, that and the other. You get scheduled, go there, drive all the way to the office, go sit in the lobby after you sign in. You might be sitting there watching some TV, hanging out, watching all the patients in the lobby that they're also hanging out. And then wait maybe 20 or 30 minutes if you're lucky. And then after that, you have a medical assistant or a nurse bring you back and they work you up, do your vitals, put you in a room, and then you wait another 20 or 30 minutes um, for the doctor, nurse practitioner, or PA to come in and answer your questions and be able to address any concerns you might have. Now, at that point, you're only really spending, because if we really count the minutes here, maybe a minute to five minutes with that provider. So, you know, patient care is very important to us. So, John, tell me how easy it is and how we cut out all these steps. So it's real simple and real easy. All you guys would have to do is call or text 727-389-3220. We can send you the new patient paperwork or you can go right to our website, titanmedicalcenter.com, click on the tab of new patient paperwork and you're gonna fill out the new patient paperwork. You're gonna get it back to us with ease. You can fill it out on your phone, your tablet, your desktop. Once we get that new patient paperwork, we're gonna call you and schedule you for the time to see the medical provider. So at that point, you could do it in the comfort of your home. You could do it in your car. You could do it at your job, at your lunch break, wherever is most convenient for you. 
at that point, when you see the medical provider and they go over all your new patient paperwork or your labs or whatever it is, then they can make the recommendation of what therapies can be the best for you. They can answer all your questions in the comfort of your own home. And at that point after that, that script will go into the pharmacy and the pharmacy will ship directly to your doorstep. You don't have to go nowhere. It's that simple and that easy. Now this is on a Skype or FaceTime and it's recorded and put in your permanent file for you. So everything is done with ease, super, super, super simple. We try to make it simple anyway, but this is the easy steps to become a patient here. And this is how you can get our injectable vitamins, our injectable aminos. We have peptides, we have anti-aging therapies, we have weight loss therapies. We have all different kinds of therapies just depending on your specific needs. Don't forget those libido enhancers, guys and girls, because everybody likes those. We can also help you out with blood work by setting you up anywhere in the country with a lab right in your zip code. We send you the slip, you go in with the slip, they draw your blood, we get the results in three to four business days, call you and get you scheduled and get you guys hooked up. You know, it hasn't been this simple ever to do and we wanna make it as most convenient for you guys out there and that's why Titan Medical Center services nationwide. That means with any state that you're in, we can help you out from the comfort of your own home, office, or vehicle. So guys, if you want to sign up as a patient, please give us a call or text 727-389-3220, or you can go directly to the website, titanmedicalcenter.com, click the new patient paperwork tab, fill out the new patient paperwork, we'll get it automatically, and then we'll get you scheduled up so you can feel better, look better, and perform better with Titan Medical Center. Become part of the Titan Medical Center family today. Hey guys, I'm John and today I'm here with my awesome nurse practitioners. We've got Jess here and awesome Chenille. So my nurse practitioners are here today and I'm so excited they're here because it's so hard to get them out of their daily schedule of helping patients feel their very best. But we get a lot of common questions with females and they want to know a couple different things because you know, some people don't just don't have the education with hormones or blood testing or preventive medicine or what they should really do to feel, look, and perform at their very best. So I guess the first question I want to ask both you ladies, and you guys can go one at a time, or both at the same time and chime in, I don't care, is can females or women get on hormone replacement therapy? Yes? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. So we've got two thumbs up for women getting on hormone replacement therapy, if everything's right, like medical history and like mm -hmm. all this good stuff. Absolutely, right? yes. You know, because there's a lot of different things you got to look for. Now you're asking yourself, probably how is the first step somebody really determines if they need hormone replacement therapy? The first step would be to get your labs checked. Lab and checks. oftentimes one of the first things that you think about is you might be just more tired or fatigued than normal, you're not sleeping well irregular menstrual cycles, heavy cramping, breast tenderness, mental focus and clarity issues and libido changes. So there's a lot of weight loss. Yes, that also yeah. decreased muscle mass, strength in the gym, things just day to day that you may not normally think about could be related to the hormones that absolutely could be. Wow, so there's a lot of different things gonna affect a lot of different females out there in a lot of negative ways. And some of these ways they might not even know, right? I mean, because everybody, I guess, is tired. You know, there's a lot of people that are obese or overweight, right? So maybe some of these people don't think that maybe their hormones are messed up. Or I mean, I guess depression is one of the symptoms too, possibly, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Wow. Depressed mood, agitation, irritability, all kinds of different things. Even some patients who, you know, are previously on ADHD medications and things like that, that then get their hormones checked, find out that that is actually the underlying cause or imbalance and don't even need to take their medication anymore nice. once their hormones are corrected. That's mm -hmm. awesome. So, I mean, for blood testing, I mean, regular general practitioners usually don't blood test for these different things that we blood test for here, right? Correct, yeah. especially testosterone. Oh. Not typically. I mean, if you're going to go to, like, your OBGYN, they may just do a hormone panel where we do everything. We want to make sure that your iron levels and your CBC is well within normal limits. Also, thyroid could be playing a role as well. So we make sure to check everything thoroughly to see what the underlying cause could be. Yeah, I mean, I've been you know doing this obviously for 10 years, guys, and I get my blood checked every three to six months. And that checks everything.
thing, like she said, like a CBC, like a complete blood cell count for you guys. Like, you know, might not know what it is. Comprehensive metabolic panel, testosterone, free and total. So there's two different ranges we're checking for, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and the free testosterone is so important too. It's oftentimes left off where it's just the total testosterone that's evaluated, mm -hmm. but really the free testosterone is how much of that total is actually being utilized in the body. So it's just as important to really take a look at and yeah. make sure that you're checking all of the hormones, not just bits and pieces. Yeah, I mean, and then females, I guess, estrogen plays a, a huge role, right? Oh, yes. You know, I, I guess it could be up, down. I mean, I know we tested a couple different estrogen panels, like a total estrogen or estradiol panel, I guess, as well. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. So, okay. All right. So, yeah. So, this could be, you know, maybe affecting, well, weight gain, bloating. Like Definitely. Like things out there. Moodiness, irritability, nice. acne. Oh. And it depends, too. If it's too high or too low, like too low estrogens with the postmenopausal type females, you know, they might end up with the hot flashes, mm -hmm. yep. moodiness, irritability, vaginal dryness. Night and sweats. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, a lot of different areas areas mm -hmm. so it's important to see if you're where your levels are at gotcha yeah so that's really really important guys to check out and we didn't even get into progesterone right or b12 levels or right, growth right. levels like igf1 levels i mean these are different things that are affecting you ladies and males out there but we're we're you know we're targeting on you females out there because we want to educate you guys on about being on hormone replacement therapy and stuff so you know is there anything else you think the ladies should know about going on hormone replacement therapy the only thing is just to get your levels checked um, to, you know, live your best life, um, feel your greatest, have higher energy. Um, you know, if this is something that's playing a role, definitely don't wait on that. And don't be afraid of it. I find a lot of females, too, are really afraid, especially of testosterone, because they see uh, misuse of it a lot. And then they're afraid that they'll develop other characteristics that are not quite as feminine. If it's done properly, that is not something that should ever occur. So we definitely yes. take those concerns very much yeah. um, in into our patients into consideration. And we also just would not prescribe any yeah. levels like that. That's very. That's a great, great point that Chanel covered here with Jess. Um, not overdosing you on hormones to give you more masculine traits, right? Testosterone is obviously a masculine hormone. And females and males both have that and all the other hormones that go with it, estrogen and such. Right. It's all about harmonic balance and different values for different genders, male or female. Um, so that's a great point. So the whole point of hormone replacement therapy, I guess, is to feel, look, and perform your best without any negative symptoms, right? Absolutely. Or side effects. Great. So that's awesome. So if you guys are interested in hormone replacement therapy or want to learn more, you guys should contact us here. Call or text 727-389-3220. Check out the website, typemedicalcenter.com, and then fill out the new patient paperwork and you can book your medical provider appointment with maybe these awesome nurse practitioners I have here. <laughs> Jess and Chanel both know their stuff, very educated, and want to do what's best for you. So guys, contact us today and get set up to feeling your best every single day. What's up, guys? John here. Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. <laughs> Thank you guys for all tuning in. Support us week in and week out. We wanted to shout you guys out right in the beginning. Plus, thank you guys for all the messages and all the DMs, all the shout outs. All my people out there, wish me a happy 40th. I really appreciate it. Going to make this year one he of my best. He loves being 40. <laughs> <laughs> going to make it look good, I promise oh, yeah. you guys. He does, he does. So, uh, you know, every week we like to give you guys some tips, tricks to hopefully help your relationship, future relationships, maybe reignite those flames or just make things even better for you guys. And every week we come up with a couple topics or maybe one single topic to go over mm -hmm. to give you guys some insight. And these are some of the different things that maybe me and Sharice have already encountered, some of our friends, our family members have encountered. Um, with troubles with their relationships and kind of asking us, you know, what should I do? Mm -hmm. So our topic for this week is don't mess up a good thing. Mm. Okay. And this just doesn't uh, 
go for relationships. This goes for everything. It could work. be yeah, work. I mean, it could be friendships. Yep. It could be anything. You know, you have this good thing. You know, maybe you you come be complacent, or you're like, oh, this is always gonna be there, and then poom pow, it's gone. Mm -hmm. and you're like, what happened? Like yesterday, like I had this thing, and and now it's gone. It's it's just it's not to be seen. So, don't mess up a good thing. And we're gonna give you a good example here. So, one example is, is that we have two friends, okay, both married, kids, okay, a nice good relationship is what we thought. A life together they're building a family together they've been together for a while mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden you know the wife's at home and she gets served with divorce papers yeah at that point doesn't know still lives with the husband just like I don't know where like where does this come into play right um, you know at that point after going through lawyers and all this stuff spending a whole bunch of their money together because <laughs> yeah they're, they're their money <laughs> it's their money right so it's coming out of there you know the, the spouse decides, hey, listen, you know, after all this trouble, after all this money, maybe everything's going to be okay and we'll go back to it. Mm. Well, at that point, the wife's like, hey, listen, I've already went through all these problems. You've, you know, took in all our money and used it to these attorneys and stuff like that. Like, now I'm okay by myself. I don't, I don't want to go back to that. Now mm -hmm. I've seen other things that maybe open my eyes, you know, and... At that point, that dude's like, womp, womp, womp. Like, you know, you, you messed up a good thing, dude. You did have a good thing. And then you forget. Look, sometimes you don't know you have a good thing until it's gone, right? Right. A lot of people, we say that all the time. You know, you don't yeah. know what a good thing is until it's gone. Right. You know, sometimes even when it comes to work, you don't know you have a good job until you leave thinking that, you know, the grass is greener on the other side. You go to the next job and maybe you maybe you made like a dollar more an hour, yeah. right? Or $2 yeah. more an hour, but now you're miserable. Yeah. Or you're not happy yeah. or you're, um, you know, being overworked yeah. or, uh, you know, underappreciated. Who knows? It could be anything. But, you know, it comes to relationships, too. Same thing. You know, sometimes you just don't know you have a good thing until it's gone. Now, I wouldn't wait until it's gone because sometimes when it's gone, it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> it's definitely you know, it's true. You don't have a choice after that. It's true. And then we talk about progression, right? So it's always good to progress in life. But some things are good the way they are. Okay. Like. Uh, you know, the way the wheel is, like, there's no way to make a wheel even better, right? And if you make it square, it's not going to be efficient or effective like it is round and, and circling. Right. So at that point, like, you don't want to mess up a good thing. The grass is not always greener on the other side, like Cherise said. So, you know, maybe that opportunity you think is so good or I'm missing out on is not the best thing for you. I mean, we do see it. We see it in jobs. And we see it a lot in relationships. And mm -hmm. a, another big thing of where these people see this is that is in social media, right? You got people sliding other people's DMs, making comments mm -hmm. on posts. You know, it's just, it's it's a false hype. It's a false hope in most That's a lot too, though. Because, I mean, let's not, let's be realistic here, guys. You know, I call it as I see it. Half the things you see on social media isn't real. Yeah. It's super not real. Right. It's either, it's not real. Let's just say it's not real, you know, or they show up and you're like, oh, nice to meet you. And they're like, oh, I'm so-and-so. I'm like, really? Could have fooled me. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's a lot of posing on there, posers, <laughs> right? Um, you know, people face tuning and stuff like that, filters and all different types of things. But like, you know, I mean, people get that false hope of like, oh, like all these people love me. They're all writing my DMs. Oh, they all want to do this for me. Like, that's false hope. Like even guys, like, you know, you, you might get DMs from girls and stuff like that. Those girls might not be girls. They might be guys catfishing <laughs> you. You never know. So, you, don't know. you know, you or don't you might even look on like even like a feed. Right. <laughs> and you're looking at somebody else's relationship. And let's yeah. just say they're posting these phenomenal photos and everything's peachy and perfect right and on their story but let's say at home it's really not you know it's just something they're putting out there for the persona you know yep. so it's it's not and that doesn't always, apply to us guys no what you see is what you get listen all the time i already been through it with him okay <laughs> the whole first at least that's five, why we're here the whole first five years okay blood sweat and tears lots of tears <laughs> fights okay we're normal kind of you know yeah. we've been through it it's just we've been through it we know each other very well we know what makes each other tick we know what not to do the you know bombs, yeah. you know you kind of learn your significant other and if you love them enough you'll adapt to what they need what they want and what not to say and what not to do 
um, you'll just learn, you know. So over time, we've learned each other. You know, he Absolutely. knows my stuff that makes me mad, and <laughs> you know, I know his stuff that makes him mad, or you know, what it makes him happy. So, you know, whatever whatever makes your significant other happy, you know, just don't always think that you can see something and it's always greener on the other side because yeah. not. And don't always compare yourself to other people. Right. That's a, that's another big thing out there. Not know? apples to apples. You think this person's doing all these things. Like, I want to be this person. You should be concentrating on what you can do for yourself because mm -hmm. even if you want that, it might never ever come. You know, so what can you do better for your relationship or yourself right. to make things better? How can you improve yourself or improve your relationship to maybe even get to that level? Like, that's okay. Like... You know, when you start, it's not like that. You don't automatically get all the years, all the experience, no. all the trials and tribulations, go the good memories, <laughs> the bad memories. Like, this is something you earn. These are badges you earn over time and the stripes because you've been through it. You, you've been through those times. You've been through those wars. Um, and you come out stronger. You come out, you know, victorious. You're like, yes, you know. Yep. And you really, you, you might not even think that. But when you get back to thinking with your partner, oh, man, look at all the different things I've been through or we've been through. And look where we've come. And that's when it's, bam, you're like, oh, my, this is a blessing, right? Um, because you have all these different experiences. And like I said, good goes with bad. It does go with Just as long as there's more other. good experiences than bad experiences, you're going to be good. You know, it always You outweighs. need the bad to make it good. You got to go, you got to go through that, that struggle. You know, it, I'm not even talking about like a financial struggle. Yeah. I'm talking about like sometimes the emotional struggle, yeah. you know, sometimes you got to go through that. I'm telling you, I promise. It's not, if it's all peaches like that, something's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing is Something perfect. Something is wrong yeah. if it's not like that, you know? So it's, you got to go through it. You got to go through it. Once you go through it, I think, you know, you'll earn your badges and respect each other. Absolutely. All relationships, no matter what they are, business or love, um, dedication and hard work always come out true. Like you got to put in the work to get what you want. Um, that's that's just the truth. I mean, it's a hard, cold fact that people don't want to do these days. They want instant gratification. They want instant relationships. They want, you know, these different things. And it's just, it's not going to happen. So don't always think the grass is greener on the other side. Yep. Those guys out there, you guys with the five wives, it's not that fun. Fertilize <laughs> your own grass on your side and make it grow better and stronger. Okay. So you know, you're on your side of the fence and everything's going great. Like, all right, you're looking over and say, oh, that's good. You guys are doing good over there. We're doing awesome over John's here. John's a good gardener. Yeah. <laughs> Got that green thumb, right? All right, so <laughs> for, for, yeah, or gold thumb, right? Gold thumb for the money. Oh, I like yeah. to make money. I like to, you know, I like to grow. I like ways. both of his thumbs. They're great. <laughs> <laughs> so this is just one you know, tip we can tell you guys, you know, that it's going to be very beneficial to you guys, whether you're a male or female in all different aspects of life. Don't mess up a good thing. And if you don't know if you have a good thing, you better check yourself and look and say, look what I have and be grateful for what you have in that time because everything can be gone. Snap of the fingers. Snap of the fingers. So I'm John. I'm Sharice. And this is another Cupid's Corner. We'll see you guys next Sunday, 11 a.m. ABC. Or if you want to check out all our episodes, go to our YouTube page. It's Titan Medical Center. Just type it in. Hit the all notifications, the subscription, the bell, so you guys get all the updates and all our great videos. So I appreciate it, guys. We'll see you guys next week. See you then.